Hello, basketball fans. Great matchup for you tonight between the LSU Tigers and the Vanderbilt Commodores. Dick, you look at this one, and it doesn't look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. I tell you what, it looks like an m and but you never know. If they come out and get an early start and play with some confidence and get that early lead, they can put pressure on the favorite. The Commodores should be in for an easy one tonight, Dick. What do you see as the keys to their success? The keys are very simple, my friend. Number one, work the ball to the interior to your post players. Let them be your option number one offensively. Secondly, don't let your man beat you to the rebound. Third, get out of those shooters. Challenge every shot. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. On the outside for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Hey, Brad, it's embarrassing to get scored on like that. Both teams looking to get things going here. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Number 21, pump fakes. Tries for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Rejects it. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. He uses the shot fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Shoots. Tickles a twine. And the ball goes out of play. Braxton is emotionally fired up. Well, he's had some success, and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. Looking for a good shot. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that oh. post. They work the perimeter. Jumps into the defender. Up and in. The Tigers have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I'll tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Down inside, the center receives the pass. If he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. At some point, his team is going to have to step up and play at his level. He's carrying them right now. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Receives the ball. Dick, I don't know if the glass is half empty or half full, but it's about half full in here. Yeah, it's about half full right now. That doesn't give you that emotional setting that you like as a home court. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Good job defensively. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Feed the low block. Look at these fans. They're loving it. They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important, mental toughness. For the bucket. I tell you, the jump hooks, especially against a big post player, very difficult to block that shot. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Controlling the ball. Moving it around the perimeter. Stewart handles the feet and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Defense. 
this defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Up it inside. Up it inside. He shoots from the top of the circle, way off target. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. Nick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestle. Nice to have you along with us. The small forward handles the pass. You betcha. On the dribble, gives it up. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Tries to spin away from the blocks. Nice job defensively. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Looking to move it around the perimeter. High post flashes. Fakes the jumper. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever is necessary to help their team win. Oh, yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. Now trying to feed the low block. Puts it up, looking for contact. That's a 7 nothing run. The Tigers have a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? Makes the shot for two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. They'll work it around the arc. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. He's got a high post flasher. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. execution on offense. He gets the rejection. The ball goes out of play. Fancy, too much mustard there. Mary's at home. There's the trap. Turnover City now always really negate any offense. Gave it up. 
What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Perfectly executed. On the outside. Takes the pass in the paint. Jumps in. Easy one. Look at the student section, Dick. Cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. They look like they're having a blast. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? And he'll kick it back outside. He fires from long range. Drains the shot. The Commodores have quite a few seniors in their lineup, which definitely is to their benefit. It is, Brad. Seniors may be the only reason why coaches sleep at night. They really make bad decisions, and you can trust them on a court. Can't get the shot to drop. Looking for a good shot. Pump fakes. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, pull a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. Now the kick out. Puts it up. Off the rim and no good. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good close play because the was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Unloads a three. Dick, they are on a deadly tear right now outside the arc. Everyone's in on the action tonight, baby. Action's ready to start again. Three makes her count it and the foul. That's how he likes it, baby. The Tigers go to the line for the first time in this game. No good. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. And he scores despite the hack. There's the fake. Now the turnaround jumper. I'll tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, guys, down here on the sidelines, the crowd seems to have expected this outcome, and you can tell they're certainly not surprised by tonight's score. Thanks, Aaron. On the outside. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. He shoots from the baseline, way off target. Drops the bucket despite the harm. And the fans are going wild. It's crazy in here, Brad. He goes for three. Oh, yes. 
Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Double team now, that angle. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Vanderbilt are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Thinks about the shot. With a little baby hook. In and out. Arm and foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. On the inside. Searcy draws the personal. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. First one is no good. Misses the second. He gets the rebound. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He makes the block. Here we go on the break. Neither team shying away from the pace. How long can they keep this up? These two teams mean business. Up and down, back and forth. On the dribble, gives it up. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. There's a double team waiting there. Looking for a screen on top and got it. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Almost lost the basketball. The ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Up fake. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. They work the perimeter. Let's it fly. Nice shot. Now they work it around the perimeter. He lets it go. There was no doubt about that one. I need to see that again, Brad. Tigers have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. That he's on fire. Dump it inside. For the bucket. He used the screen to create the space for the score on the inside. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Leans in. 
Hey, he's telling himself to crank it up. Something's got him fired up. He rejects it. And the ball goes out of bounds. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everything involved. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Gave it up. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> he's pounding the ball with his deck. Where's he going? Look at that spacing. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. He'll kick it back outside. And the fans here are loving the action. Hey, this place is remarkable. The noise is deafening. High post flasher is open. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. That's good. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Stop and pop. Knocks it down. The skip pass is picked off. Pushes it up. You can't be that. The shot drops and the foul. Great concentration on the shot, Brad. He's been making some great plays, but taunting? This crowd may be giving him some unwanted attention. Brad, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. Cashed it in. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He throws it up from downtown. Shots there if he wants it. He missed the jumper off the nice screen. He goes to the line for the first time. He hits the first shot. Second shot is no good. Here's a nice... That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. The perimeter isolated on the outside they work it around the arc looking for the open jumper high post screen gonna use it from three-point land he gets it to fall shot clock is dead double team steel go up the other way get a layup here they go into transition. Nice little jam right there, the one hand jam and stuff. Little showtime, little pizzazz. Get out the mustard. This crowd will go crazy if they get a shot to go down here. They work it around the perimeter. Takes away the pass. Off the rim and no good. At the end of the first half, the Commodores are ahead by two. 
Well, it's been a close one so far, Dick Vitale. What's your take on the play of the half? The threes were the key for me, Brad. In my books, this shot sparked morale more than anything. When you're hitting threes, everything else comes a lot easier. Let's get back down to the action where it looks like the two teams are all set to start the second half. Vanderbilt really showed no signs of rust with their shooting in the first half, Dick. They certainly did, and their offensive execution was near perfection. Keeping it up will be the key. We always love it when underdogs play well. They didn't in the first half, Dick, and they're going to have to pull out a miracle here in the second half. Well, I'll tell you what, in the second half, I expect them to really do a better job, the underdog, of protecting the basketball. I think they got to do a better job because the end of the first half, they started to really get away from the things they did earlier. Sets the screen for his teammate. Braxton pounded on his way up. At the free throw line. Gets his first. Both free throws go. Oh, big time screen set on the defender. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. Wow, the energy in here is electric. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. He shoots from outside. Tickles a twine. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position. Good angle. The arm entry had the real extension. pass in the paint jump hook from the low post I tell you, a great shot I, I don't understand why it's not utilized more often it's so impossible to block that shot and the ball goes out of play and there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. Up there, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position. Blocks the shot. The ball goes out of play. A drop step and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. Defense. 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 Looking for a good shot. Here they come with a double team to stop it. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. Count it. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon. MBN. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle. A poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Shoots from outside. 
That's definitely not the shot they were looking for, Dick. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. Takes the pass in the paint, looking for the foul. That comes off. Might have been some contact on the shot. Got it. The replay will give us a better look. Dumps it in. Nicky's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. That double team looks very unstable. It's got to be a lot more forceful. He intercepts it. Looking for a good shot. Jumped in front to take it away. Terry look from three-point land. Fires away. He gets the shot to fall. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. He hammers it home. The Tigers are down by four. On the dribble, gives it up. The crowd voices their approval. What a response they're getting. What a reaction, Brad. The fans are loving it. Rips him clean. Nothing gonna come easy tonight, baby. They are really playing for keeps. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. They're a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. He puts up the tray. Buried it. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Stolen away. Here's the offensive drop step. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Went away from the post and goes the other way. There's the trap. Goes for the deep one. Makes it. He fires it up. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Moving it around the perimeter. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. They're rocking right now. My goodness. Scores it, and he's fouled. So an and one opportunity here. Dick, look at this. He's not afraid to let anyone know how he feels. 
Oh, Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. Dump it inside. Takes it off him. The ball goes out of bounds. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Gave it up. He shoots from the top of the key. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. Got a nice screen. He shoots from the top of the key. Gets it to fall. Now they work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. He rejects it. High post screen. So effective, that screen. Great double team, really explosive. The kick out. He tries the three ball, way off target. Gave it up. Picks off the lazy pass. They move it into the front court. Unloads. He gets the bucket. The Commodores are up by four. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He puts it in with contact and all. And the ball goes out of bounds. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, during halftime, both coaches told me they look for the pace to pick up and the action to heat up as one team looks to pull away here in the second half. Guys? Tries for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Looks at the three. Scorches the net. It's stolen. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR. Hey, where's just the penny? Just play, son. Just play. Let your game do the talking. A couple of free ones. First shot is no good. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there for two. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. Didn't give it to him down low, going the other way. Working it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. He makes the shot. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? 
Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. Stolen away for the bucket, and the ball goes out of play. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. He shoots from the top of the circle. He comes up empty. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do it. And they look to run. In the paint. There it is, Jam City. On the dribble, gives it up. He tries the three. Goes. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Run him right into the screen again. What did I say? I think they're trying to make a statement. Dick, we get a look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nestler. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. Looking for contact. Takes away the pass. Hall receives the pass. Look at that spacing. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help shot. There's a double team waiting there. Takes it off him. The point guard takes the feed. Well, Mr. Vitale, it looks like we're in for a great finish here. I call these ones knee knockers, Brad. Close. Easily go down to the final second. Looking for a good shot. The small forward takes the pass. Looking to move it around the perimeter. LSU are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. He shoots from the baseline. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. They pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Gave it up. He intercepts it. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chills. Brad, it's rocking and rolling in here, baby. A defensive stop would definitely get the fans out of their seats. Here they come now on a turnover. Trying to draw some contact. The lay -in. The Commodores are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. Momentary look from three-point land. He couldn't get it to fall. 
Basket falls despite the contact. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He takes it away. And back they come the other way. Goes up for two. Finger roll. They're going to call this one a backcourt violation, Dick. You can't make mistakes like that too often, Brad. As we see the game situation here. Hey, Brad, these are elements of the game which coaches are really responsible for. Calling timeouts at the right time, knowing which way the possession arrow is pointing. All factors important in close games. not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Up and inside. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing them to make that turn. City, baby. That's a rim rocker. Take a look right here. Nobody steps into the driving lane. He allows them to get the crease, the lane, the angle. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. You can't forget about them. The winning humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. Steal. For the bucket, and he scores despite the hack. <laughs> Looks like we're ready to step back out onto the court. It's a nine-point lead. Well, nine points still keeps you in the game, though, Brad. They can't have a breakdown here, though. The shot from the baseline. He can't get the bucket to fall. Jumped in front to take it away. He dials long distance. Can't get it to go. On the inside. Trips the ball. With the jump hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. I gotta be sure they'll continue to look to foul here, Dick. Well, it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to be able to get to that winner's circle. And yet another foul. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Nobody likes this part of the game when the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. And 
yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Foul, and that stops the clock again. He goes to the line for the first time. Sinks it. Makes his second shot. Timeout's called on the court. And surprise the opposition with a little change here. Dick. That might not be a bad idea. Nine points is the difference now. A difference that can change in a heartbeat if you ain't careful, Brad. Oh, and yet another foul. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end. Plus, you get people into foul trouble. Hits the second. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. You're 15 to 17 feet apart. Got the high pick. Poor decision there to shoot that three. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. He goes to the free throw line. Makes the front end of the one and one. Shot good. Shot clock is dead. He shoots from downtown. He comes up empty. The shooting guard gets the ball. Steals the ball. Whistle blown. That's a backcourt infraction. You can't make those kind of mistakes in games like these, Brad. The student body is rocking tonight. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. The small forward with the ball. Dick, they had some moments where they didn't look that good, but we expected they'd do this, and they did, and came out with a win. Well, they're impressive because they understand one another, and they love playing together. They are so unselfish. I think their commitment to winning is what it's all about. Win, win, and win. Vanderbilt comes away with a win. They came into favorites, and they did not disappoint. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.